Well, thank you very much for that introduction. Um, this is not a standard departmental colloquium. Um, the audience is a tricky audience, and so I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to give the talk in such a way that some of you at least will learn something. And my apologies to the mathematicians who are expecting to hear some maths, uh, because you will learn very little maths from this talk. Um, in order to set the scene, let me point out that the logo is, let me emphasize, the logo is, is an apple, which signifies that this subject has something to do with gravity, Newton, Isaac Newton, gravity, and something to do with Cambridge, because that's where we are now. Um, but it's an apple made of string, which is meant to represent the fact that I'm going to be talking about a subject which, broadly speaking, could be called string theory. But um, what is meant by string theory changes over the years. And what, what used to be meant by string theory some years ago is very different from what is meant by it nowadays. And, and part of what I'm going to talk about is to make that point. So I'm going to survey a wide area of physics in a very, very sketchy way. And what I hope to do is convey some of the reasons why this community is very excited by what's happening. Part of the excitement is that this is an unfinished project. We don't know what the subject means. We, we, we feel that there is some great, wonderful theoretical structure lurking out there. It's certainly got a lot of interesting mathematics in it, but we really don't understand what is the fundamental guiding principle behind it. It's not like Einstein's construction of general relativity, where he sat down and thought for a few hours or days or months and came up with this beautiful, complete structure. 